OK, so again, we're going to look at the GMAT exam. These are questions or example questions, sample questions from that exam. And it's an excellent exam for understanding topics like subject verb agreement at a greater depth. Yeah, it really goes into the details. These are very hard questions. Also topics like dangling modifiers and parallelism. OK, these are all ooh, whoopsie daisy. <laughs> these are all things which the exam tests. OK, but we're going to look at subject verb agreement today. And what I want you to understand is the part in yellow is the part that it's testing. Yeah, the part I have highlighted is the part which is, it is testing. And answer A is identical to the yellow part. Answer B is slightly different. Answer C is different again. But each answer replaces that yellow part and must make sense. You know, there's only one correct answer out of A, B, C, D and E, as we will see. OK, so let's read through the question. Noting that the price of oil and other fuel components, comma, a major factor in the cost structure of an airline, comma, have risen and will continue to rise, the company management was pessimistic about their outlook for the upcoming quarter. OK, it sounds OK, but is it OK? And the first thing we're going to do, because when we glance at the answers, we can see that straight away they're asking you, is it have risen or has risen? Or should we use a modal verb? Yeah, will continue to rise. Well, let's have a look. Um, let's find out what the subject of the verb is. You know, what has actually risen? What or what have risen? That's what we need to decide. And so what's the subject of the verb? That's really what we need to decide here. And so I hope you can see that if you look at all of this, you, you might get fooled here and see an and and think, OK, there are two things. There's oil and fuel components. Oil and fuel components have risen. But have the fuel components risen? And what do we mean when we say oil has risen? Oil and fuel components have risen. What does that mean? Is it not the price of blah, 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 blah that has risen? And if it is, surely we need to say the price of X and Y and Z has risen yeah and it's because it's the price which has risen and not the oil the oil hasn't risen the fuel components haven't risen yet yeah, just like you say the price of cigarettes has risen and not have risen you say the price of oil and other fuel components has risen yeah it's singular and so we need to use has risen but still c is still correct yeah the price of oil and other fuel components will continue to rise that's okay and so we can't get rid of C or E, but we can get rid of A and B because they're using a plural.